emergency room and uh it sucks yeah. i don't even want to know what it looks like it just everything hurts i'm gonna need surgery which i'm really scared about but I have to be tough you know what i mean it's one of those things where, like it's gonna happen to get better and uh i'll be all right just on right now which kind of helps with pain still like a five out of ten and uh peeing in the bottle is really fun okay update number two um Got an arm cast on. It's like a temporary cast, not a real one. Uh, I'm able to drink fluids now, thank God, because my mouth and throat are so dry. And uh, they give me more painkillers and using the restroom is really hard, but um, but my pain's a lot lower now. And uh, they're taking pretty good care of me and I kind of feel like a Nancy for even complaining, so I'm all good. Can't remember what I've said, but I'm gonna need surgery. They're gonna have to transfer me to another hospital. Once we get that, we should be fine. They need a surgery? No, they just uh, said it. Lame. <laughs> well, we are on Earth. Yeah. Where is it spinning? Uh, do you know where you are? In a hospital. Okay, do you know um, what year it is? 2024. Oh, good right. job. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> that hurts. It's very sharp. It feels like there are little bits of glass in my elbow. I think it's your bones. The next thing's to surgery. I think he said tomorrow. Oh. I didn't say anything embarrassing, did I? No. You were filming the whole thing? Not when they were setting it. Please no. Mm -mm. But like ever since I woke up? Yeah. Oh wow. We've been in here for a full day. It's about 5.30 uh, on Monday now. We came in here last night at like 2 or 3 in the morning I think. There's a minor update. We've got the uh, new temporary cast put on. They set it last night. Kind of slept through the night on some A crazy trip on uh, uh, that was insane it was like two kaleidoscopes were strapped to my eyes and i was flying on a slug and crazy um but yeah this is my predicament now here's the arm all wrapped up um yeah doing good and a lot less pain i'm in like a one out of ten right now pain now is more so when i move it it hurts if i don't move it i'm good um although using the restroom is very challenging sucks because it, it's like you can't walk for example because any movement on the arm even if it's in a sling any kind of movement is so painful that walking is super hard um i did walk over to the restroom across the hall and that was a challenge to while they're gonna do surgery later today at four or five probably and once we do the surgery then i should be in a lot better shape there's the monitor up there kind of crazy I love how I'm making a documentary about this, a video, and they're making movies, talking about making movies on the TV show is perfect. Yeah. Okay, um, we have been in the hospital overnight, so we came in Sunday night, we're transferred, stayed all day Monday. We spent Monday night, it's now Tuesday, so it's been uh, more than 24 hours, this is bad boy. Still broken, uh, my elbow's broken though, so, um, I'm just, uh, like they're, they're gonna need to put some screws in my elbow or a plate to hold it, and it uh, should be a pretty minor surgery, but definitely a little freaked out about having to be put under and intubated and all that kind of stuff, and then the pain that comes after, they were saying like, it's, uh, it's a different kind of pain because, you know, you get your arm cut open and screws put in and it's like a trauma for your body, even though it's what your body needs to heal. Um, it's gonna be tough. Feeling great? Excited to get out of here. <laughs> Can do a little thumbs up here with the the broken hand, the broken arm. Okay, we are post surgery. Surgery is done. We got the arm back in the uh, what's it called splint. Splint was a was a sling and. Um, I went through the surgery, and when I woke up, I was in 10 times more pain than when I went into the surgery. It was more painful after surgery than it was actually breaking my arm. And they gave me like and, and like everything. They maxed me out on painkillers, and I was still in like a 5 out of 10 pain. 
um, but it was all they could do. So they brought me down here and I'm now just uh, in my own private room. They uh, took me back to the OR eventually and they had me move beds and, and they gave me a uh, like a sedative, like a anesthesia via IV and then they had me breathe in some gas and I was like, ow. And then the next time I just woke up and I was in a lot of pain. I was in so much pain, I couldn't even like talk. Of it's day one after surgery. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday now. And uh, I've got Megan over there, just chilling. And we ordered some breakfast. My arm still hurts a lot. When I woke up, it was like a four out of five out of 10. It's more so the movement. As soon as I move it, it flares up really bad. And then it'll calm down 10 or 20 minutes later. Um, but yeah, still a lot of pain. So I'm doing good taking the pills though. So the nice thing about that being a pill is it doesn't come on the IV. And since it's not on an IV, I mean, it's that if I can stay on that, I can potentially go home. So that, you know, one plate, you know, there, small plate holding it together, screws going through, and then actually a plate on that part of the elbow too that had a fracture. Um, gotcha. So two plates and a handful of screws. Uh, so cool. being painful last night is definitely to be expected. Uh, being where you are right now is actually not to be expected. I right. That's what they've been saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty tough cookie, doing. but you know, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, so. First time outside the hospital. <laughs> We're going home. Yeah.